So what the heck is EA Anti-Cheat for PC? Well, as you may have guessed, it's an anti-cheat solution created by EA. Linked inside EA's own website is a deep dive for this anti-cheat, but we're going to give you the gist of it and what this means for Steam Deck compatibility. Much in the vein of other anti-cheats such as Easy Anti-Cheat or Battle Light or Vanguard, which is infamously used by Valorant. I'm not going to give you the technical breakdown of a kernel mode anti-cheat, but essentially kernel mode anti-cheats launch alongside your system as well. And while in theory this means it's supposed to block out any sort of cheats that happen at the kernel level, what this actually does is also give a vector of attack to any malicious attackers that want to, you know, hack your computer. Not even a few months ago, people thought that this was just a scare tactic used by hackers to trick companies into removing these kernel level anti-cheats. But very recently, there was a very serious incident involving Genshin Impact, which also uses their own kernel level anti-cheat as well. But enough about the anti-cheat part, let's also talk about how this is a DRM solution. I've made several videos about how DRM sucks, and you should watch them all because this will enlighten you a little bit. So yes, on top of this being an invasive anti-cheat, this is also an invasive DRM too. This is actually debuting with FIFA 23. I'm gonna level with you. I didn't even know that sports games had cheating issues to begin with. I mean, there's a lot of things about sports games I didn't know about. Like, I didn't know about the fact that sports games have an eSports league. Like, literally, they have an eSports league. Look it up. And yes, while this is primarily advertised as an anti-cheat solution, we can't ignore the fact that this is also a DRM solution. On their FAQ page, they mentioned that they're working with their game studios to determine their anti-cheat needs for each project. While yes, it's fairly obvious that EA probably won't put the anti-cheat into their single player games, the fact of the matter is they can probably just put the anti-tamper portion, the DRM portion of this anti-cheat. They also mentioned that depending on the title and type of game, they may implement other anti-cheat technologies. Which gives me some hope that they won't somehow mess with Apex Legends, because if they implement this into Apex Legends, you can kiss your Steam Deck gameplay goodbye. They also mentioned that the anti-cheat will be forced upon you even if you only play single player modes on games like FIFA. Let's not forget all of the security concerns with this being a kernel level anti-cheat, but that's besides the point. Let's talk about Steam Deck compatibility. As it is, kernel level anti-cheats don't really work on Steam Deck unless Valve can cooperate with said developers of said anti-cheats. It's honestly thanks to the diligent work of Valve employees that managed to get these anti-cheats working on Steam Deck to begin with. Could Valve feasibly work with EA to get this stuff up and running? They could, but it's a matter of if EA even wants to do it to begin with. I mean, after all, the ball is in the developer's court. If EA wants to make this, work on the Steam Deck, then by all means. But I personally have very little faith in EA actually cooperating with Valve. This is the perfect opportunity for EA to prove high-tech lowlife wrong in my predictions. Yes, go on, prove me wrong. Go work with Valve and get your anti-cheat working with Steam Deck. If you do so, then I'll delete this video. How about that? This is also a good opportunity to talk about cheaters. If it weren't for all of the cheaters and cheat makers out in the world, we wouldn't have issues like this. We wouldn't have kernel level anti-cheats. We wouldn't have reasonable doubt whenever a sufficiently skilled player shows up and snipes everyone. It's really easy to pin the blame on EA for implementing such a draconian DRM scheme as well as an anti-cheat. I mean, after all, they're used to being called the bad guys of the industry, am I right? But I don't believe the blame solely lies on EA. I believe most of the blame should lie on the cheaters and cheat makers of the world. So there concludes my thoughts on this anti-cheat, compatibility with the Steam Deck, and cheaters as a whole. Like I said EA, prove me wrong. Commit to both the Steam Deck and the Linux community.